Greetings to Tokyo Station. This is the Maranuchi side, a side that we've been coming to for the last couple of weeks. It snowed two weeks ago here. It's a beautiful spring day on the 26th of March, 2020, uh, two days after they've announced the postponement of the 2020 games. And in this live stream, I'm gonna be showing you a unique phenomenon that's happened, man-made, and also uh, debate something with you that has been in the newspapers today and something the IOC has not ruled out. It would be really cool. 2020 Olympics, not summer, but spring. Oh, how cool is that, huh? That would take place during the cherry blossoms. How you doing, Marty? How you doing, everybody? Hey, there's Hello Hi 2821. Uh, um, in front of me, in, uh, in, on the Maranucci side of Tokyo Station, was the Omega Tokyo 2020 countdown clock. Do you remember that? I think I've showed it to you in a live stream maybe half a dozen times. I, I love to come here. Um, in front of me now is that clock, and it is counting up. That's today's date. March 26th, it's now 2.35 p.m. 2.36 in three, two, one. There you go. And people have been coming here for the last uh, 10 minutes. I've been standing around taking pictures of it because it's weird. The clock has now officially stopped. And that's as official as it gets. If Omega is broken, then we got some problems. But it's not, it's not actually because it's telling proper time, which is great for people who want to catch the Shinkansen, which I heard will be... Um, reducing the amount of trains that are going to be going through to the golden week. On the other side, the countdown is actually working. So sort of, sort of different here. Um, if the games were to be held, it would be held in 120 days from now. Now it's the actual, on the other side, it's the actual time. It's still showing this side though. But what is the most exciting thing for me is not this clock. And uh, I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to take you around this area just to have a look. We are practicing physical distancing, meaning to stay at least two meters away from people. I come on my bicycle. I avoid crowded areas and public transportation. You don't need a mask. It actually doesn't do much for you unless you're showing symptoms. So um, the only people I've been in contact is uh, Peter, uh, uh, my friend Simon, and Kanai. That's it. Kanai's dad. but. That's all right. Literally, like, I'm doing slalom. And I'm going over here to this post box because I have something that I want to deliver. Yeah. So going out is these three postcards with the Olympic torch stamp to Dave in Las Vegas, Ivana in Spain, and Senal in Vienna, Austria. How cool is that? And it's going from this post box right outside of Tokyo Station's uh, Modern Uchi North Exit. That's where you would validate. That's where you would validate the uh, to uh, to J Japan Rail Pass. And I'm going to hide the address here, but you can see these are going to be collector's items. You see the stamp here? That's the Olympic torch. So everybody who gets a postcard for the next four days, I think I have them for four days is going to be receiving one of those. Here you go. International mail from Tokyo Station to you guys. Spain, Austria, and Vegas, baby. Very cool. Now, the main course. It wasn't just the clock. It, that's sort of newsworthy, though. What's the main course? It is obviously Spring Olympics. What? Do you think that's going to happen? If you are into the Spring Olympics and you think that this would be something that would be really cool, click the like button. Let's get the 250 likes real fast because the Spring Olympics, that has like a ring to it. Like what? How cool is that? The Summer Olympics have turned into spring. Spring, a time of renewal, of hope, when the dark winter is over and, and flowers bloom, including the cherry blossoms. And I think that that's what's gonna make the, the uh, Spring Olympics the best ever. Now. Somebody, I don't know who, maybe it was a newspaper, maybe it was a politician, maybe it was an anonymous source, put out the dates April 16th and it would end on May 2nd. All right, in Tokyo, the cherry blossoms would probably be done by then. All right, the cherry blossoms would be done by then. But uh, they would still be blooming up in Hirosaki, up in Tohoku. This would be great for Fukushima. 
Fukushima because this is the time of year where Fukushima is starting to bloom as well. I think this would be, be perfect. Think about, you remember yesterday I showed you the image of the Olympic rings on Tokyo Bay from Odaiba looking over there? You saw the cherry blossoms with that? Can you imagine? I don't think it's ever been held in the spring. Or was it? Was, was Sydney was the fall, which would have been the spring. 2000 Olympics, I'm not sure. Well, the, the, Tokyo, Olymp the uh, Tokyo Olympics in 1964, there's precedence, was held in uh, October of 1964 because four years earlier, or was it eight years earlier, it was so hot in Mexico City that they said, look, we were not gonna hold it in the summer anymore because people were like falling in the streets. If they hold the Olympics in the summer, sorry, sorry, in the spring, that means the marathon's back on, man. That means we're gonna have the Tokyo Marathon in Tokyo because the weather is typically um, like, like it is today. It's pretty warm. Um, it's about, I don't know, 20, uh, 20, 22 degrees every day, 24, somewhere between there. Very low humidity. That's the golden week in Japan, which would have been the holiday for Japanese people. So most people that want to get out are going to get out. People want to come are going to come. And no one's really going to be jettisoning on the, on the Shinkansen anyway. It's the Olympics, man. I think this is brilliant. And I, I really hope that the IOC uh, makes this decision. And they got to do it soon. Because there's like, what is like, like 100,000 tickets or something, hundreds of thousands of tickets with the opening and closing ceremony and all the venues have been already distributed. People got tickets. So you might even have tickets. But I think it's really, it, it, I, for me, I'm really super excited about this. Spring Olympics. The question is, w will we, the world, be responsible enough to get through the dark tunnel quick enough? It's an answer that only time will tell, but I think I think we can do it. But I think if the Olympics are coming in the spring, I I will I will stay in all of March, just so I would be ready for this. I don't know. I would do anything to have a spring Olympics. This would be so ideal. I, I'm just really excited about it. Um, what do you guys think here? I'm gonna walk around to my bicycle. That's the Imperial Palace straight ahead. This is the Marunouchi side. I, you guys know this. You've been here before. That's the Shinmaru Building, and there's the Maru Building. Um, a lot of good restaurants inside there. It's mostly office space. What I like about the Imperial Palace over on this side is that there are no buildings. It's such a flat open area, which is unusual in, in such a crowded, expensive city like Tokyo. And this is real grass. The, the facade of Tokyo's Marunouchi side has been redone. Hey, Dan. I, I did a shout out to Dan and Lincoln and um, uh, when I was in Odaiba because I think that was the last time I saw you, wasn't it? Yeah, that would be awesome. You got to come for 2020, 2021, the Tokyo Olympics. Now, according to the mayor of uh, Tokyo, they've decided that they're not going to officially change the t-shirts. I think I made this announcement yesterday. It's going to be Tokyo 2020, even though it's 2021. So you yourself will have to take a, a marker and correct it if you want to destroy your merchandise. But I, I said yesterday, my friend Peter, oh, let's cross the street here. My friend Peter, hold on a second. I have one bar to go, not breaking the law. And that's the International Post Office right there. My friend Peter went out and started buying merchandise because he said this is going to be collector's items. And uh, I think it was like two hours later, the mayor said, we're not changing the marketing for the Olympics, which is not. 2020 is just a nice number. Yeah, that'd be really cool. Definitely come out for 2021. Where the cherry blossoms? Oh, this is gonna be awesome. I think, I think we're gonna make it. I think we're gonna get through there. Uh, yesterday, the mayor of Tokyo, so just a little bit of news to everybody. The mayor of Tokyo has uh, announced that, and one of the reasons I wanna do a live stream I wanted to do this live stream because tomorrow Kanai and I are on lockdown. <laughs> that sounds so serious, lockdown. Because the mayor of Tokyo has asked us to stay inside. Um, there was a spike in Tokyo. Now it's nothing like New York. It's nothing like um, social distancing. So <laughs> does, it, does it matter if you're leaning? Run away from that guy. So, um, 
<laughs> it's, it's not the, we, we went from like, like uh, 12 to 41 in 12, 12 the day before and then the next day was 41. So there's a huge spike which is an uh, ano anomaly. And we're gonna see if this works. Last weekend, so many people went out to see the cherry blossoms. Uh, you couldn't stop them and it was kind of, sort of the politicians' faults because they, they sort of said, you know, we are doing well, go out and if your kids can go out to the playground, don't, you know, you can go outside and enjoy the sunshine. Politicians said that. And people took that as a mixed meaning, like, what do we really do? So when I took you in live streams around the city, you could see that no one was social distancing. Now they are. Even the tourists are staying apart from each other. Look, that's a very beautiful two meters apart. Well done. Well done with mask. There's the new Apple store across the street. It's closed as well. The Starbucks at uh, Meguro River is closed until April. I gotta go and get a new refrigerator because we have so much stuff for our self-isolation that we don't we can't fit it. But I hear that Big Camera, which is down there in Yurakucho, is gonna be closed soon too. So I gotta go and try to order a refrigerator and wear a mask and dodge people like Shalalam. Uh, the, the subways and uh, public transportation, ridership at peak times is down 30% according to uh, data by the city. And I'll put a link in the description. The mayor of Tokyo has put, the city of Tokyo, I, we, I, I love this mayor. I love Mayor Koike. She's the one who, who uh, delayed the move of uh, Tsukiji Market to Toyosu, which is the new fish market, because of contamination from the gas processing plant. And the politicians had sort of hit it but she said that she she wouldn't move it, and she bought a lot of um, she bought a lot of uh, love from the the public from that, and we just feel like we can trust her, looking out for us. I, I think she's doing an amazing job. She has a website in English showing all the data now of what's happening in the city of Tokyo, which will help ease some of the panic. I have not seen any panic shopping, although yesterday after the announcements of the lockdown, people did go to the supermarket and buy a little bit more than usual. The supermarkets all had announcements saying don't take more than you need for a few days. Um, we have toilet paper. <laughs> we have some of the supplies. It's not, it's not like in the West. Uh, people realized that it was an internet gag that said that um, supplies of toilet paper go down because of the China thing and it was not true at all. We still have it. In fact, I went to Costco with Kanai last week and we saw bundles of like 50 in one massive Costco size toilet papers. We didn't need that much. We bought a small pack. And if you're wondering, I've already discussed this, uh, Japan has amazing toilets with washlets. Why do you need toilet paper? Because you just kind of still need to clean up that area a little bit more. I don't think the water gets everything unless you got a massage fe feature that oscillates. I'm working on an episode on that with Toto's competitor. It's a long view. Social distancing. This would be considered, I guess, like the central central business district. A lot of financial institutions. Citibank was here until they went away in 2008. Lehman shock is what they call it here. Beautiful building. There's a wonderful picture of Babe Ruth who came here and visited in the 1930s, 1936, I want to say, on a on a Major League Baseball tour, and he's he's he looks like he's completely pl plastered, <laughs> smoking a cigar or something, in a convertible with tens of thousands of Japanese um, welcoming Babe Ruth. Just, I think the car from the picture was just right over here as he exited the station going towards the Imperial Palace. It's a pretty cool picture. And this facade has not changed. And for me as a, a Babe Ruth fan, Babe Ruth loved kids. He always, he was a, uh, uh, had a tough childhood and uh, he, he knew what to prioritize. Food, women, respect the kids. Used to get a chair, autograph until he, every kid got a signature. I don't know if it was a publicity stunt, but we're talking like 1930s, so. Beautiful station. This facade was 19, 
1912, I believe, 1911 or 1912. And the same designer built the Oita Bank building down in Kyushu. Uh, a year later, it looks pretty similar with the brick facades. That's all I, that's all I pretty much had to, had to present to you. <laughs> but there's a lot of stuff that's happening in Tokyo. So tonight, I'm going to be going out to see the cherry blossoms. Today, that's right, today, this is, this, is where, this is basically my home. I'm inside of the International Post Office all the time delivering postcards and packages. I just sent out some uh, uh, hitchhike Blu-rays to some supporters on Patreon. So uh, I'm here all the time. And the guy told me that to just keep watching the news because the mails might, might be suspended between the countries as well. We're kind of watching that right now. Um, the, what was the other thing that I wanted to tell you? There's, there's so much stuff going on, it's moving so quickly. Um, besides the uh, lockdown in Tokyo this weekend, oh, the cherry blossoms are at full bloom, officially full bloom. Um, the news said it today, everything is mankai, which is 100% open, the blossoms, and we all have to stay home. It's like, what's up with that? But we, we, we in Japan sort of look out for the community. This is sort of taking care of the, of the greater good. Don't, in, don't get your neighbors sick. Think about the people around you. Like when you have to pour your neighbor's sake, you have to notice that his glass is empty, so you pour his sake and he pours it for you or she. And uh, that's the sort of kind of thing where you're looking out for the people around you. And I think that that's gonna, it's gonna be a pretty strong message that the mayor gave. It scared a lot of people. Some Japanese celebrities have come down with it. All right, there's my bike over there. I'll take you through the building here. There's the uh, uh, Tohoku, Keihan Tohoku, Tohoku line. All right, I'll just take you through the building real quick. Inside is always these alcohol pumps. So wash your hands with alcohol. Stay away from people. This is the Kite building, which is owned by the Japan Post Office. And there's a lot of restaurants in the basement. There's an Okinawa restaurant I love to go to. Beautiful big sky. Big ceiling in here. Very few people. It's easy to social distance in here. Oh, and if you're if you are here in the basement, there's this amazing freeze-dried food shop that has freeze-dried everything. It's kind of really cool. Oh, it's out here. Oh, there goes the Yamanote line. What do you guys think about that? The Spring Olympics. Are you as excited as I am? Or am I just a freak of nature and I get excited over like a piece of chicken or soup or steak with sauce or soba? Am I a freak or is it, am I, I'm rightfully should be excited. JKO Adventures writes in here, yes, Spring Olympics would be sugoi. Nico Le writes in, yeah, I like springtime. Marty writes in, if it's true. We're not sure, it's not confirmed, but Here's the deal. They have until summer to do the games, until summer. So it's not gonna be next October. It's not gonna be in September. It's either gonna be starting in, in like July or earlier. And if you have the choice, why, why not, right? Why not? I think it's totally doable to do it in the spring. It makes sense. It's just too hot, right? What are we waiting for? Right. What, what would we be waiting for? Summer? No. That leaves summer for tourism. Summer, that means we can get more tourists to come in the summer and hotels will be available and the Olympics would be out of the way. I think it's perfect for me. Um, the clock has stopped. It's, it's true. This is old news. I'm scrolling down here. Uh, tourists who visit then will definitely return to Japan another time. Weather will be perfect. I think, you know what you do? Buy your, buy your plane tickets in bulk, okay? Go to, go, to, go to Japan for the Olympics, but you bought in bulk. You got a family of five, no problem. Just get 10 tickets, 10 round trip tickets. Maybe you get a discount. I think we can 
maybe swing that with Japan Airlines. If you come for the Olympics, come back in the summer. And come back in the fall. In fact, they should have four seasons. Started off uh, spring, summer, winter, fall, winter. That makes a lot of sense to me. Buy your tickets in bulk. You, you rip off your, your round trip ticket off of a packet of 10. I, I, I like that. That works for me. What about tickets won by lottery? We, we, I, we haven't heard too much information about that, but I'm sure that there's people scrambling in panic to try to get that information to you. Yeah, uh, UFO Bob just shared the Discord link. We, we have about a thousand people always on it 24 hours a day talking about stuff, including travel to Japan, because I know you want to be here. I know that there's a lot of people who, who had to cancel. Um, and I, I made the announcement saying, cancel now. It was just, people kept asking me, should I come? And the answer is no. And the people who did come and defied my orders are trapped here. There's, there's, <laughs> there's like no way to get in. Unless you're like quarantined. And then, you know what? Um, Japan yesterday also announced that they're going to be stepping up quarantine measures. So if you are coming here, they would just give you a piece of paper and say, just stay inside. And then that was it. And people were just not listening. Now they're going to be doing it a little bit more um, strenuously. So that's going to make a big difference. Yeah, it is cute, isn't it? But not one person is riding the Hato bus and it is it's kind of sad I almost want to ride it I don't think it's worth it they'd probably just look at me funny like what are you doing here um, can you wait for an hour while we get one other person I'll call Kanai nice to see Shane's in the house wash your hands that's right don't touch anything don't touch your face my my nose itches and I just I work through it by twitching it that's why I moved the camera to the other side because it's better to see this than me twitching Let's wait for another another pass of the Yamanote line. Here she comes. And I'm going to walk over to um, um, Yurakacho and I got to go look at a refrigerator. Any any suggestions on refrigerators? <laughs> Does anybody know? Oh, here she comes. Yamanote line. It's a long train. It's pretty much empty. Pretty much empty there. We don't have Samsung, General Electric, LG. We have Hitachi, Toshiba, Panasonic. Pick pick among those groups and one, one called Aqua. Pick among those four. We don't have um, the American brands. They didn't make it across. I, I think Hitachi, Panasonic is, is a little bit more expensive. Hitachi seems to be number one in the rankings. I don't go by rankings. I don't. I don't go by style. I, I go by what. If if the vegetables will stay fresher for a week, then that'll be the refrigerator. Maybe a refrigerator where you can put speakers in it would be cool. Or having a like an iPad in the refrigerator in the refrigerator would be pretty neat. But the less refrigerator refrigerators are supposed to last for for 10, 15 years, right? Twenty years. I think my grandmother had hers for like since since the war. She had stories about it. So I don't know. I want to get a refrigerator that can do that. That'd be pretty pretty sweet. You see, not everybody practices the social distancing, but they're doing a pretty good job. Everybody has a mask on, not for this situation, but for pollen, because hay fever is horrendous right now. Um, I'm, I didn't sleep too well. The air is spicy with uh, sugi or cedar pollen, um, and it's not a, it's not pretty sharp right simply rc it's looking good inuliger says lunch on me thank you i'm, I'm gonna be eating lunch at home though because because I, I i like social distancing so i like if you eat ramen in tokyo the person next to you is like right there i think that they're going uh they're going empty seat now at, at a lot of the ramen shops but still that's not a lot of distance um, but one of the things I brought up in the live stream recently with, with the canceling of the Olympics, a lot of businesses are going to go under. There's a lot of people that are um, kind of worried about the economic times. So if you, if you are thinking of coming, definitely come and travel to Japan. In, in, uh, um, 
Uh, you might even say winters, I think, has a normal influenza season, so that's going to be tough. But definitely in spring, March, uh, I think people would really like that. And believe it or not, reservations for hotels, some of them are opened up a year in advance now. Uh, some of the hotels that have done that are booked. All right, so that looks pretty promising for 2021. And I think that if there's, as I said yesterday, I think it was the IOC, one of the, one of the chairmen also said this, that uh, moving it to 2021 is a really good thing because it seems like we're all going through this really dark tunnel now. It doesn't matter if you're in Japan and the United States or if you're in um, Australia or Brazil, everybody is locking down kind of, uh, even in Africa, we haven't seen much action there, not much change in the, but I think it's gonna be a crisis over there. I'm extremely worried about India because of the dense population. I've got family there. Um, they're reaching out to my mom as well, uh, just giving her updates. So I think um, we're, in, we're all going through this dark tunnel together. And um, that I sent to our friend in Madrid and, and Austria and, and and Vegas, baby, uh, that's a that's a that's the light at the end of the tunnel, and you can still get that postcard until March thirty first. <laughs> I still have about twelve postcards left. Yeah, no, the, but the IOC chairman said that uh, it's sort of like that. This is a it will be the light at the end of the tunnel, and the dates are not decided, and the possibility of the Spring Olympics is just too good to pass up. I might even when they announce it, do another live stream. Uh, in a, in, by the stadium like like PVG did t today and talk about it because my my gosh that would be just so awesome that would just be so awesome to see Olympics and cherry blossoms and spring and not having it in the summer I would definitely watch a lot more and, and would want tickets in the spring I don't know Melbourne 56 Rome 60 Tokyo 1964 yeah um, when they did it in Australia, I believe it was in, in April of 2020. I can't remember when exactly it was, or was it in September of 2020? It wasn't exactly in the summer, I remember. Um, they'd done it at a different time in Sydney. I was in, I was in um, Australia for, in 1999, working on Bondi Beach, shaving ice uh, to girls in bikinis, going to the Bondi Beach Hotel at night. Good time married now can talk about that Bondi Beach was fun but it, that was also the year of the Olympics and uh, when when the Millennium hit I was at in front of um, the Opera House watching the fireworks explode right just across from the um, across from the bridge that was a pretty cool time everyone everyone was in Sydney for the for the Millennium it's an exciting time but we I, I see that with with Tokyo 2021 looks like the time where just hope the light at the end of the tunnel you're pronouncing it correctly well done <laughs> september 2000 was the sydney olympics thank you for that very cool so it's not um, it's not there there is a precedence for not how holding it at the during the summer you can hold it at different times there's a precedence for that and that's good i think that's really good our mcbeef for the fridge <laughs> <laughs> so, all right, I just got an upgrade on the fridge. Thank you. Thank you very much. I'll post a picture of the fridge I decided to get. I don't know if I'm going to get it. I'm very picky with the technology I buy. I like to kick it a little bit, you know, just make sure everything's working, to think about it, mull it over. But I don't got a lot of time because things are shutting down now. Um, it's maybe now or never, and Kanai is not happy because the refrigerator is warm. Even it's on full blast, so it's time to get the new fridge. All right, everybody. Toshiba. It's decided. Ah, it's not decided. I'm. I'm kind of. A, I'm kind of into the Hitachi, because they're from Ibaraki up north. It's. It's closer. But Panasonic is a. I love Panasonic cameras, but Toshiba is a sponsor, grand sponsor of Chibi Maruko-chan, I believe, on Fuji TV. So it's going to be a tough one. Going to be a tough one. All right, guys. Thanks so much for watching. Very cool. I don't know if I'm going to get a smart fridge. Thanks so much for watching. A little bit of love from the this side of Tokyo Station, from the clock that shut down to the possibility of a Spring Olympics. I'll be back sometime this weekend, probably indoors, but tonight I am going to do my favorite thing. I don't know if I'm going to do it live. The one thing I will do is I take a light 
and I go out when nobody is around and I shine the light at the cherry blossoms. Now that we're at Mankai or full bloom, it is so beautiful like snow. Because of the dark sky, the black of the sky just adds this amazing contrast when you shine a really strong light, um, like a, a very white light onto the cherry blossoms. Now I'm gonna take you, I don't know if I might just not do it as a live stream, but just do it as a kind of a, a pre-filmed stream, a strovy. That might be better because I want to. I want you to see this in like the glorious 4K that it deserves. Cherry blossoms in 4K are pretty sweet because a lot of you are trapped in your houses because of the quarantining, self-isolation mandates by your governors and presidents and stuff. Yeah. All right, guys. See you in the next live stream this weekend. Have a good day. Have a good night. Leave me a comment below and click the like button. Subscribe.